Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy RPG. Hope you're having an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And today, we are back. I don't think we need this play guide. Um, hope you're all doing well. It's uh, the same day, but a little bit later on, I've gone and played football in real life and stuff. So I may sound a little bit tired, but um, <laughs> I just want to play. I just want to play. So uh, let's get to it. Um, okay, I want to get to the to the to the beginning of the like um, story story. So uh, we need to put in some work. So let's do it. But I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to rush or anything. <coughs> How you doing, Mamoudi? Mamoudi. Before you go charging off to find your fortune, I've got a few basic tasks I'd like you to perform. So that's to help you to get to know the place. Visit A for right Plaza. Okay. One for Aetherite's traveling around Eorzea would be a damn sight more troublesome than it is. Of course, you still need to attune with them before you can use them, so be sure you do that with the one in the plaza. You ever attuned with an Aetherite before? If not, just lay your hand on the thing and you'll see what I mean. When you're done with that, I want you to pay a visit to the former Turgis Guild. Over at... Yeah, we're not going to say that word. Assuming that scepter ain't just for show, you might consider training there. Oh, nice little touch. And finally, I want you to visit the Sapphire Avenue Exchange. Goods from all across Aeosia beyond and beyond turn up there every day. Sounds good. You might say that everything's for sale here in all that, as long as you've got the gill. Just make sure you don't pay more than you ought, Voldemort. Okay. Which is why I'm giving you this letter. When you visit the exchange, find a gentleman named Cesaroga and give it to him. He'll be happy to tell you about the markets once he's read it. In short, then, well, I could have just... Oh, God. A lot of folk are really... Too. What many of them, what many of these folk realize, don't realize is that instead of chasing off the guild the moment they get here, they ought to be making friends. Very wise words. Let it be known that you're willing to give as much as you get and opportunities will come your way. Ah, yeah, Mamodi. You should speak with a smith. Okay. Speak with the smith. Right, let's go say hello. Oh, people! Let's go. Uh, main menu, character, duty. That's fine. We'll figure this all out when we get there. What's an innkeep? Oh, sanctuaries. Okay, this is the resting bonus. So we're always going to try and log out when we've got this. Navigation, M on your keyboard, minimap. I'm, I just need to let it be known I'm awful with maps. What's the hourglass? Oh, most famous inn. Okay. Bro, this music's insane. The new adventurous status is applied to all players who have recently begun their adventures in Eorzea. Is it just me or is the music for some reason insanely loud right now? Amongst Eorzea's thriving population there are seasoned players known as mentors who have taken up- Oh okay I know this. When a new adventure and mentor form a party they both receive a bonus to experience- Oh that's so good. What is the Novice Network? Okay. Mentors can send an invite by targeting a new event or return and then selecting the invite to Novice Network. Huh. Cool. That's really cool that there are people around here helping and stuff. Um, okay. Boe Muk Boatface. Can I not go first person? Where's his face? Fernando! Oh, I found another fellow uh, new player. Level 25, cool.
How do you... Do you just... Hi. Oh, she's level 57. Yeah, she's not new. How do you talk to people? General. Okay, so it's not like wow where the speech bubble pops up. No! We got ignored. Damn. I'm sure we'll meet some lovely people down the line. All right. Uh, let's go do the, uh, the classic. Go get all the fast quests. Fast travels. Why isn't it playing the, the beautiful Uldar music? I remember that because I added it to my uh, gaming uh, playlist. Nope, that's not aware. There's Fernando. Off he goes. Okay, let's go get that Aetherite Plaza. Oh, man. Oh, it's just so exciting starting a new game. What the hell? Oh, this must be a Valentine event or something. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Oh, that's so cool. I love that stuff. Hey, women. Hmm. Take this missive to the Yosius at the Platinum Mirage. I may as well accept quests right now because we probably need the money. Oh god, I completely forgot there's a sprint. <laughs> Can we agree that on my on my screen the game is looking so good, everyone? I really hope it uh, trans translates to YouTube. I guess is the word really well. Hello, adventurer. Might you have come at the behest of Mamodi? Excellent. Which brings us to the matter of the attunement fee. That will be one hundred thousand gil. Uh, what? Apologies, but I do relish the opportunity to make that jest. The look on your face was absolutely priceless. The fact that you were so easily deceived suggests to me... I wasn't... You are unfamiliar with the use. Allow me to explain. These crystallite agglomerations tap into the aetherial energies and are primarily used as a means to travel swiftly from one place to another. Perchance you have heard of Return and Teleport. Well, these transportation spells make direct use of the aether rights and their connection. Given that there is an Aetherite in almost every corner of Eorzea, any adventurer with a mind to explore the realm will wish to seek out and attune himself to each and every one. But even if you have no intention of wandering beyond the Sultanate's borders, it would be prudent for you to attune yourself to any Aetherites you encounter from now. Okay. Should you wish to learn more, I should be happy to answer your questions. I need to remember that whenever we see one of these, go there. You are now able to use the return spell. Brilliant. And if I recall, the return spell is the one with the long countdown. Every 15 minutes, yeah. Okay, let's make this our home point. Oh, okay, brilliant. What other options are there? Register favor destination. Interesting. A visit another world surfer. Damn. Aethernet? Oh, okay. Oh, this must be all of all da. Cool. Okay, great. Um, I think I'm gonna turn down the music. So again, I don't use these, by the way. Um, I don't know what they do, but they're there because I used the a, uh, a certain. I used the unofficial launcher. I hope that's. I wouldn't recommend it. I just have really bad. Uh... What's the performance? Why is this that? Put that down as well. I think fifty is perfect. I think that's much better. It's still really loud. 
All right. Let's go. I don't remember this being old Dar music. Maybe it's old Dar nighttime, the one I'm thinking of. It's like a super quiet, lovely song. This is still a great piece of music, don't get me wrong, but. Oh, another quest. Yeah, yeah. What's up, mate? Uh, looking for a bit of work. Well, you're in luck. The pugilists have just placed an order with me several of the leather gloves and harnesses they use for sparring, but the traders are cruel. Hmm. Care to help a merchant on his luck? Bring me five snapping shrew pelts, and I promise to make it worth your while. Yeah, go on then. Well, here's the pugilist guild. All right, mate. Oh, 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 this is, uh, there you go. Brilliant. We know about handing over items. It's not very hard. What quest do you have? Gelter. Okay, he doesn't give me no money or any good items, so there's no point in doing that. Uh, the only reason I'm trying to get money is, uh, I think teleporting costs money in this game. Uh, let's go here, get the former Taj, go say hello, and then we'll start uh, working on the other quests. Don't want to go to Western Fanlan. Didilata. What a lovely name. Alright, let's get this. And then, um, one sec, I think I need to do this. No. Okay, let me hotkey this to my mouse. Bear with me. Uh, where are hotkeys? Hot bar. Uh,. Keybites. La da 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 Hot bar. Brilliant. And now, do we have auto move? Auto run? Oh, middle mouse button. That's great. That is middle mouse, right? There it is. Love that. Hello. First we'll talk to Erasmus. Oh. Oh, don't mind if I do, mate. Don't mind if I do. I'm Erasmus. I'm charged with studying the anatomy of this region's fauna. One else will publish my findings in a single comprehensive volume. The Many Breaths of Fanland. That's crazy. I've just recently watched uh, the uh, Fantastic Beasts franchise for the first time ever. They were all right. I think the first film was my favorite. The second film was awful and the third was okay. Third film, first film was actually really good. I enjoyed it. Bring me five bottles of Marmot Blood and perhaps I shall name you in a footnote. Okay. Welcome to the guild. It is fate that has guided your steps here this day, friend. I see that you... Harbour arcane ambitions, though your journey has scarcely begun. Within these hallowed halls, the arts of devastation are taught primeval magic with which to bring about an enemy's ruin. If you'd like to join our ranks and wield such power, you must needs know of our beginnings. The nation of Ulvar inherited its traditions from ancient Beladia, a city founded by the descendant of the first mages. The secrets of these illustrious sorcerers were ultimately entrusted to the priests of the Order of Naldfal, who have passed them down from generation to generation. Focused and refined over centuries of use, the arcane magics of our ancestors eventually emerged as the art we know as former Turgy. A freezing blizzard to halt corruption, a raging fire to cleanse the corpse. Wait, there's a bolt of lightning? It's for the reason that we are feared and respected in equal measure. Thus, our guild can thrive. 
What say you then, adventurer, if you would plumb the abyssal depths of formaturgy? Let our learned sages guide your descent. Ah, but before you leap, you must prove to our guild masters that you are possessed of the spiritual fortitude necessary. Cool, let's do this. Well, adventure, will you join our guild? You're goddamn right. I get raisins? Oh, oh, we need to get them now. What the hell? What am I going to do with a shield? Oh, I guess I do use shields. It actually makes sense to have a shield in my other hand. A wise decision. I would have you study the volumes of fundamental formatological principle. All 108 of them. What? Or at least I would have if such requirements had not been abolished. I suppose you just have to settle for calling upon the collective wisdom of our guild masters. We have five, you see. All brothers? Oh, here's the music. Let's go. Uh, Dode all wield supreme authority. It is the eldest who provides a singular voice for the guild when one is required. Master Coco. Coco B. Coco Bigo, I believe. What? Okay. Where is he? Let's have a little look here at this place. Oh, this is the music. Let's go. It just makes you think. Some music just makes you think. And for me, it's the beginning of our path of destruction and chaos as Voldemort. Ah. Do not take your eyes off your victim. So we've got Coco Barney. Coco Cabana. Coco Bigo. Coco Bizi. Coco Boha. And Coco Buki. Who's the guild master? Cool. I guess he's the guild master because he's the tallest. Who? What? Oh, Tal's teeth, man. Did your mother never tell you not to start a formatage? Look at that expectant face, Coco. I'm just going to call them all Coco. This gentleman is obviously a new applicant. Oh, prelate Yoki. She can recite the 307 verses of the funerary rites for the virtuous film from memory. But a simple task of keeping our names straight seems ever beyond her grasp. Wahaha. <laughs> well, I for one find the constant confusion endlessly entertaining. My apologies, good sir. My merriment was not meant to mock your mistake. It is our sibling, Kokobuku, whom you should speak. Here he is. What's this? What's this? Great Tal has led us to a new, a new aspirant. Ah, Kokobuki. Were you here the entire time? I am Kokobuki, and I would venture to say the wisest of the five masters. It's my solemn duty to furnish our would-be initiates. I would have your fullest attention. To wield former Turgy is to unleash devastation of the highest magnitude. Fire, lightning, blizzards, somn somnolence. Open your mind to our sorcerer's teachings, and you too shall soon hold the unparalleled power of our discipline in the palm of your hand. Good. Of course, such power has a price. You must be willing to plunge head first into the forbidding chasm of the former Turgy's secrets. All right. I ask you now, Aspirant, are you prepared to leap into the abyss in, t in pursuit of power? Oh, Kokobuki, you have no idea who I am. Yes. But of course. Teach me everything, Master. Hmm. A confident response. Your name, if you will. Very well. Voldemort. <laughs> Let's ask Isn't it so weird seeing it in this game? You may call me he who must not be named if you'd like. Let us mark your initiation with a trial to test the limits. Huge hornets, marmots, snapping shrews. Go kill them. Which is bloody perfect because we've already got quests to do that. Oh shit. What's my, uh, oh, oh, middle mouse button, whoops. There's no shot I forgot this, right? I'm pretty sure I got this. I mean, I may as well, right? I actually may as well. Turned out to be the smart play. Okay, where does this way take us? Okay, 
This is the market. A lot going on here. Holy crap. Am I the only one who prefers this map to this? I'm Cesar Roga. What can I do for you? Ah, oh, you would have me teach you the way to the marketplace. Well, you expect me to do it for free? Surely you jest. When you ask an old Dan for a favour, you should at least try to make it worth his while. Uh, mate, Mamodi sent me. <clears throat> God, this is going to be a lot of voice acting, isn't it, boys? Oh, Mamodi. Oh, consider yourself fortunate to have such influential friends. I shall be brief, and you shall be attentive. You stand in the Sapphire Avenue Exchange, the busiest and most profitable marketplace in the Sultanate. Being advantageously situated in relation to the other city-states, Oldar's markets have ever served as both the literal and figurative centres of Eorzean commerce. All the great overland tribe routes lead to our city. Because of this, countless companies and consortia have chosen Oldar as their base of operations. Anything a man could ever desire can be purchased here. Surely there's something you seek. God, this music. To the north, you'll find merchants. Okay, this doesn't really matter. He's just telling us about the uh, place. Okay. I just love the music and the atmosphere. Seek out a particular merchant or browse to your heart's content. And that is all the complimentary aid you should have from me. And far too much for my taste. Off with you. Man, these little bastards have a bloody attitude, don't they? Alright. Damn, damn, those effects are loud. Oh, for God's sakes. Hopefully the audio is all good though. Uh, I record a little bit ahead of time, but I can't wait to uh, see what everybody's saying. But I've read all the comments regarding uh, a lot of the stuff on a couple of announcements that I made. My community posts. So shout out to everyone. Oh no! Not ready yet, no, not here. Oh, the game looks great though, doesn't it? So I, to anyone if you're new to the channel, have been playing WoW for the first time ever for three months. Go check that out if that's your thing. And uh, I absolutely loved it. I never play a game straight for three months. And um, I knew eventually I was going to get bored of it. It's nothing against WoW. Any game I play for three months it'll happen with this hopefully this will last three months it'll happen with any other game um the reason i went with final fantasy is because it's so different aesthetically from wow whereas eso and guild wars 2 have a kind of similar you know classic fantasy uh style I am going to play those two in the future for sure. And I can't wait to do so. Oh, I missed a couple of quests. Bitter Snow, what a name. But, um, yeah, the reason I played Final Fantasy is to not get burnt out. Huh. I'm not reading side quests no more. Here's what we can do. He's revealed to you that he's standing in wait for his beloved. He's nowhere to be seen. Oh no. He's been stood up, the poor lad. I need to get better at using sprint. A 
Okay, this is the last one on this screen. One, two, three. Okay, so we've got five quests. Brilliant. That's good progress right there. I think I really like the fast travel system. Just checking if any of them give items. There she is. Just look at me, this hair, this outfit, they don't match at all. I look atrocious. What was I thinking? Oh, I can't let Bit of Snow see me like this. Maybe that last tunic was best after all. And Bit of Snow is waiting for me, but I haven't, haven't anything to wear. Let me go and see him, love. The poor. Oh my god, the poor lad. Oh, I can't let him see me like this. What is a girl to do? You look good. Okay. Port to Mamodi. True pelt. Marmot blood. Okay. Let's go back to Mamodi. But before we do that, where's the Weaver's Guild? We're at the Weaver's Guild. What about these two? We'll get there eventually. All right, Mamodi's is adventurous skill. Correct? Yes. Mamodi! How was your tour of the city, Voldemort? Get lost, did ya? Ah, well, that's a big place. Wonder when our name is, you don't pay the bills. If you're serious about making a living here, you'll need to remember where things are. So when you go exploring, explore like you've got a purpose, eh? Alright then. All that's left is for you to work hard, make money, and spend it here at the quicksand. There it is, baby. Okay, what the hell is this? Swaps astral fire with a single umbral ice or umbral ice with a single astral fire. Cool. Ooh. ooh. Level 4, let's go. Modi of the Quicksand wants to introduce you to a certain someone at the Ulzar Dispatch Yard. I know a bloke you might fancy speaking to him and he you. Name of Papashan, you'll find him over at the Ulzar Dispatch Yard. I'll have some work for you. Okay. What the hell was that? Ooh. Yep. Went all the way to the Scorpion Crossing for a package, but only just now realized I've returned to the wrong one. The way back is so far. One, two, three, four. Oh, bro. Okay, hemp and tights, right? But here's the thing. Our main quest is going to give us, you know what? Oh, bless him, he's falling asleep. Uh, okay, how do I, now what we need to know is how do we show more, uh, choose what quests I want to see here. Everywhere's out. All of our quests. 
I hope. Is J for journal? Yes, it is. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, see, there you go. Smart. I don't know why this is a... I'm not going to abandon it. I hope it still shows up on the world map. Uh, we're about to find out. Let's go fight for the first time. How far is our range? Damn, our range really isn't that good. Interesting. So we casted ice three times. Okay, I need to be quick. Switch to fire, see what happens. And then switch to ice. Press free. Okay, now we're on fire. Thousand six hundred a hit. Still casting fire. Pressing free now. Not quite sure what I'm doing, I'll be honest. I want to learn on my own though. I don't want to look up a guide, you know what I mean? Okay, we've got fire going. Now, as you can see, it's doubling in SP. Twenty-eight damage. Twenty-eight damage. Nine damage. Okay, holy crap, this is annoying. Okay, we need to figure out how to move this one sec. There is nowhere to move this? Nope. Maybe I'll look that up. Alright. Spells are bad ass though. Snapping shrews. Snapping shrews. They're over here. This bastard's killing them all. Bloody wizard stealing my glory. I think to switch I should press that and then use ice. There we go. Okay. Okay, so I've got an all and switch again and now I can use fire. Hmm. And we did 30 there, okay. This is gonna be so fun to learn. Okay, and then we switch. No, I didn't even have anything anyway, so it's fine. And now we've got the thing around us. Press 3. 
Hmm. Oh no, I should have used ice on the dirt. We need three. This should do big damage, right? 29. Yep. Okay, it's getting better. Okay, and then we're going to press free. We crit there for 30. I don't know how I get the second stack, though, is the question. Only one stack right now. And there's a countdown. We're gonna switch and big boy hit here. Nope, only 28. Hmm. Challenge accepted, Final Fantasy. Challenge accepted. As you can see, we've got this fire thing around us. The goal is to get this to free. Haven't quite figured out how that happens yet. Well, you certainly look the part of an adventurer, my friend. Might you be a good soul, Mamodi advised me to ex expect. I am Papashan. I'm truly no more than a tired old Lalafell. Part Wait, what the? Why the hell do you look like Colonel Sanders, bro? We all dons work together, doing all in our power to rebuild what was laid to ruin. The railways which run through this dispatch yard too were born of the noble efforts of great many souls. There is still much work to be done. Uldar needs the aids of you and your brethren, friend. In fact, never has our need been more dire. Which brings me to the point, I do believe I may have some work for you. Ooh, let's go. All classes, disciple of war, okay. Plus one intelligence. And we get this. Now... Do I have to sell this? Wait, shops sell for 100 gil. Okay. So we're going to go 127 gil. Oh, hell yeah. Deals lightning damage with a potency of 30. Deals fire damage with a potency of 180. Alright, mate. Why are you all up in my personal space, bruh? Okay. Let's put some swag on. We press C. Um, I actually really like this starter code, by the way. Um... Yeah, we're never going to wear a helmet, don't worry. Oh, that's so cool. It says it there. Okay. Um, I actually like those more, I'll be honest. Nice. Why wasn't that equipped automatically? Maybe that's the ring the guy gave us. Maybe that's the item he gave us. Brilliant. Ooh, let's go. I'm going to get a new staff. Okay. Since you've come all this way, perhaps you can perform an errand for me. A number of sentries have been sent to guard the area, dispatch to dispatch yard. They have long been away from the shade and feather beds of the city. The hot days and cold nights can play hells in the mind. Isn't much, but go and give them these twilight pretzels, will you? I find comfort would always help. When I feel like killing myself? What the hell is going Is KOC really that bad? Uh, okay, there we go. Nice. And three of these. Sells for 500 gil? Let's go. Wait, wait, where are those? Wait. 
Wait. Why aren't those, uh... Huh? Shouldn't those be on my screen? Uh, in my... Cool. That's so weird. Alright, mate, here's a pretzel. His arm is badass. Maybe you start with this. And what, is he losing damage as this happens? Yes, he is. Now we're firing. Fire 24. This should hurt more. Fire 33. Okay. Fire 33. Fire 33. the hell? I'm out of MP. So then we go like that and do that. I wonder if I ever use Thunder in the rotation. Maybe Ice is only used to get my MP back. And I should just constantly use Fire. I don't see why I'd switch to ice otherwise. Hmm. Last, uh, I've got one more. And we hit it with a three and then a one, correct? Ooh. Oh no, that didn't hit. Do I w if okay? Here's a question: Does free bring this back up to 15 seconds? Yeah, yes, it does. Cool. Okay. So freeze also a way to reset the timer whilst not losing my stacks. The only question is now: is how do we get our stacks higher? We've tried alternatively attacking. That's not what. You know, fire, ice, fire, ice. That definitely didn't work. What the hell is that? The fate system. Oh, is it? Okay, it's like an event. Okay, let's go do that. Hopefully it's like a powerful enemy so I can like well, a healthy enemy, a tanky enemy. Okay, I've bloody delivered bloody... Wait, where did it go? Ah, oh, for God's sakes. I'm not quite sure what the point of this is. Hmm. Maybe that is what I should start the fight with. Take this for your troubles and stay a moment. There is more I wish to ask of you. Let's go. A roll action? 
lowers a target's physical damage dealt by 5% and magic damage dealt by 10%. Damn. Let's put a debuff here. I'm going to class this as a debuff as well. And I'm going to change these to shift. Oh, it's 90 second recast. Wow. You know what? I am going to put that back down there. That's actually a really good debuff. Okay. Alright, we won't be spoiling that. Alright, we've got a new weapon. That's our old. Holy crap, the frames. Where is the beauty? Uh, what? Oh, it's actually a staff! Cool. I actually would much rather the... What's it called? Did we get that shield, by the way? All right, well, let's do this quest next time. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, give me your tips and tricks on the uh, Formaturge thing. Like, the rotation would be nice to know. Just the current rotation. Don't tell me about future spells, because that will overwhelm me. Um, but current spells that I have, basically just the ice and fire would be great to know. Um, but I really am enjoying the game, and uh, yeah. I'm going to call it a night. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, check out my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash AmaraPG. Join the Discord, and I'll see you guys next time for more Final Fantasy XIV. Thanks for being you.